Hi, my name is Craig Burt, Principal Security Engineer at Tenable. Today, I would like to discuss a problem that organizations are facing when it comes to ransomware attacks against Active Directory. Attackers will often use your Active Directory environment to launch ransomware attacks. They use group policy to weaken endpoints and often for the deployment of the actual ransomware payload. Did you know Tenable AD Trailflow technology can help you solve this problem? Actually, let's jump into Trailflow so we get a better understanding of what normal Trailflow looks like. So here's the Trailflow in my Tenable for AD platform. As you can see, we're recording you know, changes at the Active Directory database level and at the Syslow level. So actually, let's jump into um, group policy management and create a new group policy with the script so you can actually see what it will look like in the trail flow of Tenable for AD. Here I'm going to open up group policy management. I'm going to create a new group policy. We're going to call it demo script. And then we're gonna go in and edit that group policy and go into the computer, window settings, scripts. And then we're just gonna to go to the startup, click add and just put own you dot bat. Now that we apply this, Let's go back to the Tenable for AD platform and do a refresh. You can see that we actually picked up a new group policy object within Tenable for AD. and that it has a scripts.any file of own you.bat. So I can write a query to actually look for this. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Here I have one that I pre-canned. Again, we're looking at the global path of Sysfall and the types of scripts.any, and this is going to then filter out all group policies that have some kind of executable payload in my Active Directory environment. So now we actually want to take the same logic and create a custom syslog event that will alert us anytime someone goes in and adds a new group policy that has a script or goes in and changes one of our existing group policies. To do that, we're gonna to go to the systems configuration. Under the alert engine, we're going to go to the syslog. Some of the prerequisites that you're gonna need before you can create this is you're gonna to need to know the IP address or host name of your syslog server, the port of your syslog server, the protocol of the, your syslog server, and then that trail flow query that we just created um, to track this in trail flow. So let's dive into that and actually go into the syslog itself. And for mine, we're going to grab the IP address. And that's 10.02.102 for me. That's probably something else for you. 13.38 is the port I'm using, and then I'm using TCP. If you require TLS, you would enforce TLS. I do not require TLS. For a description, I'm just gonna say group policy with scripts. And then I want this to trigger on changes, which is the default. And then again, I want to use the query that we used in the original trail flow. And again, that's using global path is sysfall and type scripts dot 
I and I or scripts like any. Click add. And now we have created the um, new alert. So actually let's go in and modify that same script we created as part of the demo. So let's go back into um, group policy management, edit the demo script, go to the policies and go to the window settings, go back into scripts. Here we'll do a shutdown script. We'll add, and we'll just call this ransom.bat. It could be .ps1, .exe. It really doesn't matter. And then we'll pick this up, hit apply, close out the group policy. Let's go back to the platform. Let's look at the trail flow. And we'll do a refresh. You can see that again, we have a new object. That's the own you dot bat one, actually refresh. And then let's use that query. And now you can see the ransom dot bat has picked up and our trail flow. And now let's go back in and look at it, this in Splunk. So what I've done is configured um, Splunk as my syslog server. And now I wanna go in and do a search to see if I can actually pick up this change. So we're going to then do a, re do a refresh. And then you can see here, we actually sent in that change within um, that's coming from the Tenable for AD platform. And again, it's picking up ransom.bat, that change to our group policy. So again, this is how you can use Tenable AD's trail flow technology to alert you in real time whenever a change is made to a group policy that has a scriptable payload or someone creates a new group policy that has a scriptable payload in your AD environment this can help mitigate ransomware attacks against your Active Directory environment.